Welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into the story of a guitar legend who left an indelible mark on the world of rock. Gary Richrath. Gary's soulful and powerful guitar solo, especially on tracks like Back on the Road Again, Roll with the Changes, Keep on Loving You, Take it on the Run, solidified his place in rock history. Gary Dean Richrath, born in Peoria, Illinois on October 18th in 1949, was an American guitarist, best known as the lead guitarist and songwriter for the band REO Speedwagon. Originally playing saxophone in the school band, he took up guitar as a teenager, becoming self-taught. By 1968, Richrath was in a band called Suburban 9 to 5, which did some recording for Ledger Records. Gary joined REO Speedwagon in late 1970. Richrath had driven over 100 miles to see the band and become a part of it, saying, I'm going to be a part of this band whether they like it or not. REO Speedwagon had formed in 1967 in Champaign, Illinois. In the early days, they were managed by their classmate, Irving Azoff, who would go on to become one of the most powerful men in the recording industry. Epic Records signed the band to a recording contract in 1971. Rich Rath wrote and performed on some of REO's biggest hits, including Riding the Storm Out, Flying Turkey Trot, In Your Letter, and Take It on the Run. In 1977, he and other members of the band took over production, which resulted in the band's first platinum album. Along with playing lead guitar, Rich Rath sang lead vocals on Find My Fortune, Wild as the Western Wind, Dance, Any Kind of Love, only a Summer Love, Break Away, and Tonight. In 1977, the REO members convinced Epic Records that their strength was in their live performances. Epic agreed and let them produce the band's first live album, Live, You Get What You Play For, in January of 1977, which was eventually certified platinum. You Can Tune a Piano, But You Can't Tune a Fish was released in March of 1978 and started receiving radio airplay thanks to songs like Roll With The Changes and Time For Me To Fly. The album was REO's first to make the top 40 and sold over 2 million copies in the U.S. In 1979, the band took a turn back to a harder rock sound with the release of Nine Lives in July of 1979. On November 21st, 1980, Epic released High Infidelity, which represented a change in sound to a more pop-oriented material. High Infidelity spawned four hit singles written by Rich Rath and Cronin, including the chart-topping Keep On Loving You, plus Take It On The Run, In Your Letter, and Don't Let Him Go. They remained on the charts for 65 weeks, 32 of which were spent in the top 10. High Infidelity sold over 10 million copies. The band's follow-up album, Good Trouble, was released in June of 1982. Although it was not as successful as its predecessor, the album performed moderately well commercially, featuring the hit singles, Keep the Fire Burning, and Sweet Time. Two years later, the band released Wheels Are Turning in November of 1984, an album that included the hit number one single, Can't Fight This Feeling, plus three more hits, I Do Wanna Know, One Lonely Night, and Live Every Moment. On July 13th of 1984, on the way to a show in Milwaukee, the band made a stop in Philadelphia to play at the U.S. leg of Live Aid which broke a record for the number of viewers. 1987's Life As We Know It saw a decline in sales, but still managed to provide the band with the top 20 hits, That Ain't Love, In My Dreams. The Hits was a 1988 compilation album, which contained the new tracks, I Don't Want to Lose You, and Here With Me. These were the last tracks recorded with Gary Richrath and drummer Alan Greitzer. REO Speedwagon has sold more than 40 million records and charted 13 top 40 hits, including the number ones, Keep On Loving You, and Can't Fight This Feeling. Rich Rath left the band in 1989, and with his new band named Rich Rath, released the album Only the Strong Survive in 1992. REO and Styx had a benefit concert on December 4, 2013 in Bloomington, Illinois. Rich Rath reunited with the band for a performance of Riding the Storm Out to end their set. Rich Rath stayed on stage to help with the encore with a little help from my friends, alongside REO, Styx, Richard Marks, and others. What set Rich Rath apart was not just his technical prowess, but also his unique style. His ability to blend rock, blues, and soul created a signature sound that resonated with fans worldwide. 
Let's take a moment to appreciate the genius behind the strings. Tragically, Rich Rath died on September 13th, 2015, but his legacy lives on. He was 65 years old. Speaking to the Song Facts website in 2017, Cronin disclosed the cause of Rich Rath's death. He had some stomach problems or something, and he went into the hospital to get treated for a stomach ailment, and there were complications, and he didn't make it. Today, many aspiring guitarists cite him as a major influence, and his impact on the rock genre is still felt. Let's celebrate the enduring spirit of Gary Richrath. And there you have it, the story of Gary Richrath, the guitar virtuoso who left an indelible mark on the world of rock. If you enjoyed this dive into rock history, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more content, and let us know in the comments which guitar legend you'd like us to explore next. Until next time, keep on rocking.